thanks for joining me today. My name is Carly and I'm going to lead you through a vinyasa flow practice. We'll flow some postures, some asanas together, and then we'll also end in Shavasana. So let's start off in a seated position. Sit crisscross if that feels okay in your body. And let's just take a few moments just to begin to roll through our shoulders. Slowly change direction of those shoulder rolls. And as we're doing this, begin to bring some awareness into your breath, noticing your inhale, noticing your exhale. Let's soften our shoulders down, place your hands on your legs, and let's just roll through our torso. Bringing awareness to your breath. Change direction of that torso roll. Soften the shoulders and just relax the body where you can. Let's bring our torso back to our center. We'll let our fingertips touch the earth right beside our body. Let's inhale, reach those arms out and up. As you exhale, hands through heart center. Let's let our hands touch the ground in front of us and just go for a little walk forward. Relax the neck and the head. If it feels okay, walk the arms over to the left side of your space. We'll gently walk those arms back to center and then over to the right side of our space. We'll slowly walk our arms and our torso back to center. Walk those arms back towards our body. Take our shoulders up, back and down. And then we're gonna take that same thing again, but let's crisscross the legs with the other leg in front. So just take the other leg, bring it in front. Take a few moments here again, just to roll through those shoulders. And as you're rolling through your shoulders, just bring awareness to your breath. Notice your inhale when it arrives and notice your exhale when it simply just leaves. Change direction of those shoulder rolls. Let's soften those shoulders down. Place your hands on your legs and let's take that torso roll. So just pick one direction. Just roll through that torso. Let's change direction of that torso roll. And then we'll bring our torso back to the center. Let our fingertips touch the earth beside us on the ground. Let's take an inhale, reach those arms out and up. As you exhale, hands through heart center. Walk those arms in front of you. Take a forward fold. Relax the neck and the head. Let's walk our arms over to the right side of our space. Soften that right shoulder down. Gently bring your body back to center. Let's walk over to the left side of our space. We'll slowly bring our arms and our torso back to center. Walk those arms back towards our body. Let's take our shoulders up, back, and bring them down. And then we're going to transition our body into a child's pose. So any way that feels good for you. Set the knees down, shift your hips back, bring your arms in front of you. Allow your forehead just to gently connect down towards the earth. And take a few moments just to pause here to breathe. And as we move through our practice, just know that you can come back to child's pose at any time if you need to. Let's slowly find our tabletop, our hands and knees position. 
from here, let's round ourselves up into a cat posture. So I'll round your spine up towards the sky. Tuck the tailbone in, tuck the chin in a little bit. Pull the belly in towards your spine. Let's slowly find that cow pose. So belly softens, tailbone lifts, heart lifts. You can decide if you want to look down, forward, or even up. Pause here for a breath in. And then when you're ready to exhale, round up into that cat. Inhale into your cow pose. Exhale into that cat. And let's go back and forth here just a few times at your own pace. Just breathe here back and forth between the two postures, inhaling into cow pose when you're ready. Exhaling into cat. Just move with your body. And maybe taking one more in each direction, one more cat pose, one more cow pose. And you'll find that tabletop. I'll take a brief child's pose, shift the hips back, walk those arms in front. Maybe you need a moment to roll through the wrist joints. And then reach those arms long in front of you, spread through the fingers. Let's find our downward facing dog, shift your body forward, curl your toes underneath, take your hips up and shift them back. You can take a little bit of time here in this downward dog if you need to, to shift through the body, bend the knees, lift the heels up and down, just kind of do anything that might feel good for you in this first downward dog of our practice. If you're moving around, find a little stillness from here. Let's go ahead and inhale into our plank. Plank can be on the tippy toes, balls of the feet, or even your knees. As you exhale, go all the way down to the ground or hover. Let's inhale into a cobra or upward dog and just pause here for a moment. So cobra's down lower, lifting up at the base of the rib cage, upward dog, hands slide back a little bit. We lift our thighs off the ground, palms are touching the earth. And then when you're ready, let's find that downward dog. So if you're an upward dog, you might just flip the toes back and press back. If you're in cobra, you may need to have lower down to the ground and then come back up any way you want to this downward dog. Let's go ahead and just take that little flow again. So inhale into your plank. Exhale all the way down or hover. Inhale cobra or upward dog. Exhale find your downward dog. And just keep breathing. No need to hold your breath. Let's take that one more time. So inhale into your plank. Exhale all the way down or hover. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. From your downward dog, go ahead and just look up to the space between your thumbs. You can step, walk, or if you want to hop those feet up in between the thumbs, you can. Feet about hip with their sole apart, forward fold the body down. Bend in the knees as much as you need to for comfort. Let's get ready to stand tall. Sweep those arms out wide. Stand tall as you take a breath in. As you exhale, hands to heart center. Release those arms down. We'll take that again. Just inhale, arms reach out and up. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more time, then we're adding on. Inhale, arms reach out and up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's take a forward fold. Fold the body down. Relax the neck and the head. Take a front lift, flat back. Go ahead and let the chest look forward. Hands can touch the ground, tops of the feet or your shins. Knees can be straight or bent. Release the body down. Right foot's going to step back into a lunge. Right foot steps back. Right knee can be up or can be down on the ground. That's your choice. Reach those arms up high to the sky. Just breathe here. Breathe here. Very gently, we'll let our hands connect down towards the earth. Right arm stays on the ground, left arm swoops forward and up. Twisted lunge. Left arm, bring it forward, let it touch the earth. Left hand can be my pinky toe or big toe side, right arm reaches forward and up. Breathing here. Right arm reaches forward, comes down to the ground. We're going to find a plank from here, so you can step that left foot back, or if that right knee is down, curl the right toes underneath, lift that right knee up, step that foot back. All the way down to the earth or hover. 
Inhale, cobra upward dog. Exhale, find that downward dog. Or maybe it's time for child's pose. Check in where you need to and just breathe. Just breathe. If ever a time, if ever there is a time that I'm saying inhale and you're exhaling, I just don't want you to worry about it. I just want you to breathe. So let's find our downward dog. Right foot's gonna step up into a lunge. Good. Left knee can be up or down. Sweep those arms forward, lift it on up. Breathe here, breathe here. Hands gently connect down towards the earth. Left hand stays on the ground, right arm sweeps forward and up. Take a twist, breathe. Right arm reaches forward, comes down to the ground. Left arm reaches forward and up. And again, as you're here, left knee, back knee can be up or down. Left arm reaches forward, bring it down to the ground. If the left knee is down, curl your left toes underneath, lift that left knee, left foot steps forward, left foot steps forward, fold the body down. Let's inhale, sweep those arms out wide to the side, stand tall. Exhale, hands through heart center. Release those arms down by the sides. Take it again, inhale, arms reach out and up. Exhale, hands at heart center, forward, fold the body down. Relax the neck and the head. Take a front lift, flat back, lift to the chest. Pull the belly in towards your spine. Release the neck and the head down. Left foot steps back into your lunge. Left knee can be up or down. Arms reach forward and up. Breathe here. Hands connect down towards the earth. Right arm reaches forward and up. Take that twisted lunge. Nice. Right arm reaches forward, bring it down to the earth. Left arm reaches forward and up. So that right hand on the ground can be by your pinky toe or your big toe side, you decide. Left arm reaches forward, comes down to the ground. Right foot steps back plank. All the way down your hover. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, find that downward dog. Or maybe it's child's pose. Find a little stillness wherever you are. When you're ready, your left foot is gonna step up into a lunge. Left foot steps up into a lunge. Right knee can be up or down. Sweep those arms forward, lift it up. Breathe here, good. Hands connect back down towards the earth. Left arm sweeps forward and up. Twisted lunge to the left, breathe. Left arm reaches forward and down. Right arm reaches forward and up. Breathe here. Right arm reaches forward and it comes down. Right foot steps forward, right foot steps forward. Forward fold the body. Inhale, stand tall, sweep your arms out and up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Release the arms. We'll take that one more time. Inhale, sweep those arms out and up. Exhale, hands through heart center, forward fold. Round to the back. Inhale, front left, flat back. Exhale, right foot steps back plank. Or sorry, lunge, right foot steps back lunge. Sweep those arms forward and up. Breathe here. This time hands to our heart center, elbows up to the sides. That right elbow just touches that right thigh, or that left thigh. <laughs> Left and rights can be a bit tricky apparently today. Breathe. Unwind your torso, bring it back to center. Arms reach up. Hands connect to the earth. Left foot steps back, plank. All the way down or hover. Inhale, cobra upward dog. Exhale, find that downward dog. Or maybe a child's pose for a moment. Just check in where you need to be. When you're ready, right foot steps up into that lunge. Lift the arms up, reach the torso away from the earth. Hands connect to heart center. Left elbow, right leg. Breathe. Nice. Unwind, come back to center. 
Arms reach up. Hands connect to the earth. Left foot steps forward. Forward fold the body. Well, there we go with a few technical difficulties. <laughs> Enjoy this forward fold. Let's stand tall, sweep our arms out wide to the sides, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Release the arms down, take it again, inhale, arms out and up. Exhale, hands to heart center, forward fold. Round to the back. Inhale, front lift, flat back. Exhale, left foot steps back, lunge. Sweep those arms forward and up. Breathe here. Hands to heart center. Left elbow, right thigh. Breathing. Good. Unwind, come back to center. Arms reach up. Hands touch the earth. Right foot steps back, plank. All the way down or hovering. Inhale, cobra upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Or maybe child's pose. Take a moment just to check in with right where you are. When you're ready, your left foot is gonna step up into that lunge last time. Left foot steps forward. Arms sweep forward and up, torso lifts. Hands to heart center. Right elbow, left leg. Breathe. Slowly unwind your torso. Arms reach forward, or they reach up. Hands connect down towards the earth. Little change this time. Left foot's gonna step back into that plank. We'll set our knees down. We'll take a child's pose. Allow your forehead to softly connect down towards the earth. Breathe in. Breathe out. Gently bring those arms back towards your body. We're gonna round up our torso to a seated position for a moment. Go ahead, shift your hips to one side, swing those legs around. Adjust your body on your mat so that you can lay down. Once you lay down, let's find a full body stretch. So lay your body down. Extend the arms overhead. Extend the legs nice and long. Lengthen, reach and breathe. Allow the body to soften here. Let's bring those arms down by our sides. Let's bend the knees, set the feet to the earth. Bring your feet wide on your mat. Just kind of windshield wiper those legs side to side, drop them to the right for a moment. Inhale back to center. Exhale, take them to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, right. And just go back and forth just a couple times at your own pace here. And just breathe. If you're not sure if you're supposed to inhale or exhale, just don't think about it, just breathe. So we started on the right side and with the knee drop, we want to make sure that we do one more. So we, and then the left side. So wherever you're at with that, make sure you balance it out. Legs come back to center. Walk your feet in a little bit. Let's take our arms, our palms, open them up. Soften the neck and the head down. Soften the space between the shoulder blades. You can rest right here with the knees bent or you can take those legs on out. You've arrived in Shavasana, the resting posture of our yoga practice. And I invite you to stay in this posture as long as you like. And when you're ready to be done, you can end your practice. I want to thank you for joining me today. Namaste.